Are you kidding me? That was ridiculous. Yeah. This Kansas patriarch has met his match. Jason's hunting party quickly found him nearby, fallen to a single round of Winchester's deer season XP. Thank you, fellas. You. Yeah. Brisk temperatures have brought success to Jason Gilbertson in Kansas. Now Casey Kiefer is hoping for a turnaround of his own in Illinois. He's going for broke on his final sit of the season. Last night, we began our tales handed to us as we have this entire season here in Illinois. This has just been rough. Last night we had some deer in here. But it's just, it's so strange, I can't figure it out. Just the rut and what these deer are doing. I've never encountered anything like it, so. I got this one last sit. I ended up moving the blind. Deer should start pouring out, at least I hope, any minute. So, we're in the right spot, the blind's tucked. We just need the deer to show. That's the most important part. Light is fading fast, and reality is quickly settling in for Casey. His whitetail season is coming to an end. It's been a roller coaster fall, one that brought with it the ups and downs that drive every deer hunter, or haunts them. It all started with a swing and a miss on fence post Halloween night. Strike two was a gun season miss on an impressive eight point. He redeemed himself when he rode out the storm and connected with a tornado chaser. These ebbs and flows will follow Casey through the off-season, making sure he gets back to the stand when autumn returns. Chris is still grinding it out in Iowa. He's finally woken to the weather shift he's been hoping for. The temperatures have been falling, and there's a fresh skiff of snow on the ground. The time to strike is now. Well, kind of a last-minute decision, but we made it over here. I was sitting in a spot that was just, the wind was just pounding, and we're up high. And so we came over here, and our thoughts are, in talking with Chad, that we're gonna go ahead and uh, get in here to the Cedar Bowl, where the wind is kind of down and protected. We're losing light right now, the sun's going down. And uh, we're gonna have to get in there pretty fast, sneak in. Oh, but it's not too late because if it is it's the wrong decision but if I can get in here in this little staging area before they hit the corn I might be in the chips Chris is set up in a stand he's dubbed the Cedar Bowl the Cedar Bowl stand sits in the heart of a large cedar swale on the eastern edge of a property that's comprised mostly of tillable acreage. The Cedar Bowl is anchored by a thick timber stand that acts as a sanctuary for resident whitetails. Big bucks and hot does have been seen leaving the sanctuary at dusk to head into a massive cut cornfield to the east. Chris parks on the northeast corner and only hunts the Cedar Bowl with a south-southwest wind. The cold snap is the final piece to Chris's kill factor puzzle. Food. Chris is positioned just west of a massive cut cornfield. This steady food source is known to be a nightly buffet for big bucks that are leaving their bedding area at dusk. Every night deer pass right by the cedar bowl on their way to feed. Wind. Tonight the wind is blowing out of the southwest. This allows Chris to position himself upwind of the bedding area, enabling him to approach and hunt this stand set undetected. 
and weather. The temperature has finally dropped after days of unseasonably warm weather patterns throughout the Midwest. The late November cold snap should finally push Iowa bucks to their feet. down right there mass what a buck what just happened what this is unbelievable it is the last 30 minutes of daylight in Iowa came back to this stand that I've always loved for all the years I've hunted with Chad at Midwest antler company I mean, we got in so late, we didn't even, I don't even know what to say right now, I'm panicking. We don't even have cameras up, and the deer walks into bow range, and we smoke it, heavy. What a cool buck. I didn't even see him coming. That's unbelievable, I'm in shock right now. It finally, finally, a buck on the ground. Rivalry, oh, right there. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh! 45 days on stand have a way of wearing down a bow hunter. To tie the entire season together in the final 30 minutes makes every last sit worth the wait. Look at this mass. Boom! Wide. Oh yeah, look at this mass. What a cool looking deer. Short time, old deer, crazy things going on up here. Look at this, all worn off, broken. Just a six and a half year old, big body. See, there's that pouch I knew he'd been fighting. Oh, that happened so fast. That happened so fast and so cool. And that's why we do it right there. That adrenaline rush that you get when you see that buck coming at you is awesome. Buck on the ground, Iowa, finally, in December on the last day of season, after 45 days in a row, I come up with this guy. This is a cool buck. Chris's season is drawing to a close. After 45 days on stand, he's reminded that good things come to those who work for them. He stayed patient, made the right moves, and has an Iowa bruiser to show for it. He'll be back to apply what he's learned when autumn returns to the Midwest.